society is evolving towards 5G and some of the key features or con contributory features that we're seeing in that evolution are items such as carrier aggregation, higher order MIMO schemes and more complex air interface combinations. The other aspect that we're seeing away from the air interface is the area of network function virtualization and the evolution of the network functions onto a scalable commodity-based hardware platform. So what we're seeing on carrier aggregation is an advance from the very first combinations of carrier aggregation, which is typically only two carriers, then it evolved to FDD and TDD combinations of carrier aggregation. Now we're seeing deployment of three component carrier aggregation and we're seeing lab-based demonstrations, even with operators, of five component carrier aggregation. We're also seeing more evidence of other technologies becoming involved with the same carrier aggregation uh, capability. So what I mean by that is, for example, there's a lot of interest in the Wi-Fi spectrum and there's a lot of interest in the evolution towards 5G of potentially combining 4G and 5G technologies under the umbrella of carrier aggregation. In addition to carrier aggregation, we're also seeing an increasing combination of carrier aggregation with other LTE advanced technologies. This includes some of the higher order MIMO schemes. So for example, you now are seeing three component carrier aggregation combined with 4x4 MIMO as well. Not straight away on all three carriers, but obviously the industry is evolving in that direction in order to deliver higher rate data. So network function virtualization is another key aspect of 5G and that brings in the ideas such as Internet of Things for example. What we are seeing on uh, NFE is very much a validation of the initial ecosystem. So you have a couple of key drivers within the industry who are looking to actually prove that the NFV concepts in terms of being able to combine different vendors' components on the same platform will actually work. Where we add value is in being able to demonstrate that those systems can scale correctly. They can not only function at the rate of one or two users, but they can scale when it comes to handling hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of users.